Hello guys, I'm Pika and I'm going to be showing you 13 tips and tricks you probably didn't know in Ark. As most of you probably know, male characters swing faster with a melee weapon than female characters, but the fastest way in the game to unnet a dino is a chainsaw. Let me just show you how a hatchet compares with a male character by the way, this is the other fastest way. And then the chainsaw. Basically instantly. Now I don't know if I'd recommend chainsaws on typical PvP kits because they're heavier, more expensive, hatchets are expendable. But technically this does remove the main advantage male characters have in the PvP meta. Unless you're just camping obelisks with a club. Tusos can be holding something and still move at normal speed. As long as you do this. Right before you pick something just press space to turn. Right as it gets grabbed. And then now I can just go normal speed. I can heal while doing this, I can even ink without dropping the thing. And this is really useful if you're just trying to, like if your Tuso is scuffed while going to blue up. Or if you're fighting a dolphin. You can likely outheal their damage. Rock Drakes can do a lot of damage to big dinos if you dive into them at the right angle. This Drake has 750 melee. And the Giga down there is tamed, and has infinite stats on. It should still rage, if you hit it right. But it, you wouldn't kill it in one go. But that's still ridiculous, considering this is... Like, this can go up to 2.5k in the future, maybe. On the main clusters. In the Rockwell boss arena on Ab, you can hide under this bridge here. If you run out of uh, cactus broth or you forgot it, or you're about to die and you just want to let the tribe take care of the boss, all you have to do is crouch here, and there's room for you to sit under here and be completely safe from anything in the boss arena. I forgot to mention in the upcoming clip here that everything is on official 1x rates. Farming these black pearls on Aberration with a mining drill gives you twice as many black pearls as you would get with your hands. The max drop for a mining drill one is 32, and the uh, minimum is 16 I'm pretty sure. And the max drop for uh, picking them up with your hands is 16 and minimum is 8. See so I got 12 there with my hand, 12 again. Mining drill, let me just try. 24, 28, it's roughly double. You can tame almost any level Karki with just one cannonball. You just have to hit it in the head once, which sometimes is pretty hard, because uh, they keep running around like this, but yeah, see there I hit it in the head. It's knocked out, this is a 150. As you can see here, that was one cannonball. When you do knock out a Karki with a cannon, however, it does take a lot of taming effectiveness off. This one went from 100% all the way down to 62.5, that's how the cannon damage scaling works. For some reason, if you hit the Karki, and there's structures nearby, the damage goes over to the structures, which you should be able to see, yeah, this gate here took a lot of damage. And then, for some reason, the damage ricochets back off the structure onto the dino. So that's why the effectiveness got destroyed. This wouldn't happen with a catapult. But usually, if you're taming a Karki, you just need any Karki for farming metal on an unofficial cluster or something like that. On a Reaper, if you time your spit or C-spin to go off at the exact same time as you jump, you can do it while jumping. This has a lot of uses. You can use it to jump at a wyvern to ground it with a spit like this, or you could just go along the ground and spin people that are trying to run away from you. Most people are going to play a bit too close, and if you have a melee reaper, you can either one or two at them depending on their armor. So this, this works pretty well at catching people on foot. Also if someone thinks you can't reach them with a tech suit, you can just do this. And they'll be... Mad and Chad, most likely. You essentially just turn into a giant flying fidget spinner of death. You can uncryo a Quetzal with a platform saddle on Gen 1 and hop on it 
and then just whistle it to go up. And then you can set it up as a sky quest. You just have to put the follow distance to lowest so it goes into the air and then just... <whistles> tell it to go there. And the default key for this should be on the screen now. And with this you can put a sky quest to the border and the only way to scout for it is a uh, astro or a fucking skiff. Seas for some reason get trapped dinos out of their traps. And this works on both large bear traps, small bear traps, and plant Y. It also works on dinos that are usually too big to be seed, like this giga here. If I get on the giga, walk it over the bear trap, it's in the trap. But if I just throw a C in front of it, like on the feet, I can just get on and keep walking, like nothing happened. And this also works for the monkey that just trapped himself there, throw a C at him, and he can run. Now this is pretty useful since some people do use bear traps to try to bait you on a Giga. So knowing how to get out of them immediately without having to sit there and disarm the trap for ages is pretty useful. You can tame a rock golem without a trap or anything, just with a PT or an RG. All you have to do is go up to its head, hit the rock golem once, wait for it to come out, wait for it to turn, and then just walk up to you. It's gonna sit there and stare at you, then all you have to do is just dismount to the opposite side, parachute away. Make sure the flyer is following you on max follow distance so it stays up there and doesn't try to land. Then all you have to do is place down a cannon and just shoot the golem until it's knocked out. It'll stay looking at the flyer. The mana's ice breath attack range is slightly higher in first person than it is in third person. You see here in first person I can hit this reaper queen if I just wave my mouse around and look at different spots on it, but in third I can't hit it at all. This also kinda applies to if you're trying to chase a wyvern or something. If you start your breath in third person, it, it doesn't come out. But if you go into first, it starts coming out and it has the range where you can track like wyverns. If someone's running, for example, you can chase them with this. If you missed your pick or want to pick somebody right after C spinning, all you have to do to reset your animation is double tap space near the ground, and it lets you do shit like this. If you have a tribe mate with a snow owl and you're on a soaker or anything you want to soak with, if he bombs you, or if you, if you kick him from the tribe and he bombs your soaker with a snow owl to get that effect, your dino takes 80% reduced damage while it has the snow owl slow effect. So you see, I'm going from taking 75s to taking like 15s. It's ridiculous. So yeah, if you're offline soaking and you want to get in quickly, just and you have two people, just do this. Like you probably won't regret it unless your guy on the snow owl is stupid enough to fly into the base and die. But uh, that's not the method's fault. That's his fault. Turn down your volume quickly. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, what the fuck happened? I'm confused. Oh my. What? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's going in the end. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> Please, explain. <laughs> so, before I end this video, I'm gonna need to ask you all to like the video and sub to the channel. I'm trying to gain an audience before Classic PvP Season 5 comes out, which I have huge plans for doing a series on. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and hopefully I'll be making more content like this in the near future. See you in the next video, hopefully.